Hello once again YouTube, Chris and I bring you here bringing you some Minecraft action. When we left off, I, uh, well, uh, let, let me tell you something. Uh, I, uh, attempted to do a, a filming earlier yesterday, and, uh, it kind of didn't work out too well. It crashed my game because I was trying to use a mod, a specific mod. It's the, um, oh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Zeppelin mod. Um, I was looking for a new mode of transportation, and uh, it didn't really work out too well, especially when the game crashed. So, a few things have changed because uh, that episode didn't work out too well. So, um, instead, I'm going to be looking at a different mode of transportation today, because uh, I kind of want one. It's just taking too long to get from place to place, in my opinion, because um, I need to be fucking everywhere at once, I suppose. So, um... <clears throat> Uh, a few changes, uh, during that episode a creeper walked into my house and just decided to blow up right next to my, like, entrance, so I had to fix this up and change it around a little bit. My, my uh, crafting table isn't in the right place anymore, uh, so let's put that back. Uh, otherwise, uh, nothing else has really, uh, changed, uh, other than that I put a fucking iron door. Cause, you know, now that I've learned my lesson, I intend to stay safe, I suppose. So, um, today we're actually going to be looking at one of the mods that I've been wanting to get to, that we haven't been getting to, and that's Flan's Plains mod. Um, give me a moment while I get organized real quick. Alright, oh, and I don't need that. Um, to be honest, I probably don't need much of the things that are in my inventory, but whatever. So yeah, uh, today we're going to be looking at Flan's Plains mod. Um, it requires a number of things, it's kind of complicated, but I'll take you step by step on how to... Stay, take you through it step by step on how to make one of the simple planes and maybe in another episode I'll take you step by step on how to make a larger plane and you know it's not going to be like I, I mean you can look it up the recipes for yourself but um uh, I, I want to you know I guess uh, this is kind of a tutorial on how to build uh, one of these planes and not just like uh, telling you to go look it up yourself because nobody wants that people want to be shown what to do so why not why not so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over oh wait first thing we need is uh, lots of iron, right? And also I have a lot of leather here. Oh, there's leather in here too. Excellent. Um, so we're going to come over here, right? <clears throat> we got plenty of wood, so we don't have to worry about that yet. Uh, so the first thing we do is we take some iron. Actually, no. The first thing we do is we make some bowls. And you're going to want to make probably eight bowls, I'd say. Eight bowls, right? And then you take two of them, you put them there, and then you take four iron and place them underneath, and you get a vehicle crafting table. Now that's for a certain, like, pack. Um, Flans Plains mod uh, comes in, like, packs of, like, different uh, vehicles that you can make. The next thing we want to make is three bowls on top with six iron underneath, and that will give us a small plane crafting table. That's all we are going to need for now. Later on, you can combine two of those to make a large plane crafting table that is necessary for uh, met metal planes and the large bomber that comes with one of the packs. Now, like I said, planes, Flans mod, Flans planes mod, Jesus, I can't even see it right, comes in like packs of assorted different things. The one I'm looking at is the, uh, the simple pack, uh, simple parts pack, which adds uh, simple planes to the pack, um, which would be the biplane, the wooden biplanes. Uh, I think there's a two-seater one involved too. So now that we have that done, uh, we can, uh, let's come over here and, uh, plunk that down. When you right-click on it, you can see that there's blueprints. Um, and basically what you do is you click on the blueprint and it'll put everything you need in here. Unfortunately, I have none of the things we need. Um, that's okay, because we're going to be making, uh, the blueprint for a wooden biplane instead. And, uh, let me tab out real quick and look at what I need. Give me a second. We are going to need some fuel. I'll show you the other two things that come with this pack. In fact, uh, let me try and do that now. Let's see if I have any flint. If I have some flint, I'll show you. I got feathers. That's nice. I do have flint. Alright, so one of the things that comes with the simple parts pack, just uh, to let you see it, is uh, crossbows and crossbow, uh, I don't know what they're called, arrows? Crossbow arrows, I suppose? You take flint, and it's basically the same recipe as an arrow, it's just tilted diagonally. So there's the flint, the stick, and the feather, and then you get crossbow bolts. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, we aren't going to be using this at the moment, so uh, let me just find a chest to put this in. Uh, take that stick back. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. 
I don't need uh, all of this at the moment. No, not at all. Too much stuff. That's a lot of uh, gunpowder. Okay, so um, the other thing, uh, of course, it uh, obviously will come with a crossbow recipe. So we're going to take some of the string here. And I'll just show you that before we move on. You take wood and you place it in this corner of the uh, crafting table. Then you take two string and you place them there diagonally. And the last bit of wooden plank goes there and you get yourself a crossbow. And I guess that's how you uh, use it. Um, the crossbow kind of comes with like a loading time. So you can't use it for a certain amount of time. That's That makes sense because in real life crossbows do not automatically fire. Like a, You can't just fire it like a bow and arrow. You have to load up a crossbow. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's part of the simple parts pack, uh, and you know, I guess that's just a because Flans Plains mod also involves a lot of weapons from all sorts of different time periods and different countries. So they've got like World War II weapons and stuff, and then there's modern weapons and stuff like that. So you can check that out if you want. Um, we'll probably be covering those in a later episode. But um, now we're going to move on to let's see, uh, biplane. Yeah, let's let's make a biplane. How about that? So we need two wings. I'm looking this up in case you're wondering. Uh, we need two wings. We need the tail. We need the cockpit. We need the engine and a propeller. So let's scroll on down here. Give me a moment while I look this up. I need to find all the recipes because I, I don't usually make these. I just go on my other maps and spawn them in the planes themselves. So uh, we need uh, two wings, like we said. So uh, we'll take some of this wood here. And you make some sticks and you place them on either side of the crafting table in the middle and then you place wood all along the top and the bottom and you get a wing. So if we do that twice, we'll get the two wings we need. There, biplane wings times two. Woohoo. Um, also, if you want, you can place the biplane wing in there and you get just a simple wooden wing that's used for other types of planes, but uh, we'll get to those later. Um, there's also triplane wings and, you know, metal planes, like I said, so, you know, this isn't the only option for you if you're looking for that. Um, for the uh, propeller, we're going to take some more sticks, and we put them in the corners at the bottom and the top middle piece of the crafting table, and then we plop a bit of iron, iron ingot in the middle, and that's our propeller, right? For the cockpit, we need to make some wheels. So in order to make some wheels, I do believe we take iron, and we surround it on all, top, bottom, and the sides, with leather and we get a wheel. So um, we're probably going to need three of these, so we'll make two more. And then for the cockpit we need to make a boat, which kind of sounds funny, but this is a, a wooden biplane, so it's just simple wooden structure, it's not really that big a deal. Um, and then we take the two wheels and we put them in the corner and then put the boat in the middle and you get the wooden cockpit. And the last thing we need is the tail section. The tail section is pretty simple. You put wood in the middle and in one of the corners, and then you put a wheel in the same corner as the wood in the top. So, wood in the middle, wood on top, wood and wheel on the bottom. Uh, and then you get the wooden tail section. And I think that's all... Oh, no, no. My bad. We need an engine, of course. How can you fly a plane without an engine? Um, so, in order to make an engine, we need flint, which I just got rid of. So, ha! I'm going to have to get some more flint, and I don't have anything down here, so... Frankly, I don't really care. I'm just going to spawn it in because I know I have tons of flint in my um, gigantic mine shaft place. So let me find flint real quick. Ooh, this is fun. Where is flint? Where the hell did it go? Okay, you know what? We're just going to spawn in the flint and steel because that's what we need it for. Get yourself some flint and steel, right? And in order to make an engine, we need to start off with the pistons. So in order to make a piston, we do this. Actually, I think this is a... Yes, this is the piston, right? And then in order to make the cylinder, we do that. Uh, right? Right? No? No. No. Okay, so... I'm sorry. I'm just, like, <laughs> thinking about something else. In order to make the engine, we take... Uh, more of these, right? And based on how many you make, and how many you put into the engine design, it will determine the size of the engine and its speed and power. So you can kind of get an idea that the more pistons you have, the more better of an engine you're going to make. And they're realist. That, that makes sense, because the more pistons you do have in an engine, the more powerful it is. And the faster it will go, too. So we take those pistons, right? And we can make any 
really ridiculous horn just went off outside. Sorry about that. Um, in order to make a V4 engine, we take pistons and we place four of them on either side of two iron ingots. Um, so we get a V4 engine. Obviously, if you want a V6 engine, you fill up the entire crafting table with pistons on the side and the iron in the middle, and you know you get that. Um, and that's it. That's all we need for a V4 engine. Now, if you want a V8 engine, you can take two V4 engines and put them next to each other. Um, that'll give you a V8 engine. <clears throat> and I think that's the most powerful engine this game, or this, pff, this mod comes with. It's not a game. Okay, so now we're ready to make the plane. We should be good. Um, so we take the uh, propeller, and we go to our small plane crafting table, and we put the propeller in the first slot there. We take the wings, and we put them on the wing slots. Find the cockpit, put it right there find the engine block and put it right there and then we find the tail section and we put it there and we should get a biplane we'll look at that so <clears throat> now we need some fuel because I know the flat plane is not going to take off without fuel and I'm going to take this ladder and I'm going to put it right here real quick because we're going to be going up to my roof so I can actually take off hopefully this works um, I'm sorry it might be loud because uh, if you do install audio mod the, the mod comes with um, the Flan Flans Planes mod comes with uh, audio for each of the, the different things you use. And um, as far as I can tell, there are no weapons on the biplane. Uh, last time I checked with the mods I had installed, or just in general, Flans Planes mod didn't really work out too well with weapons. The only thing I could do is bomb things. So if we want to make um, fuel, we take four coal, put it in the corner, and then we take an iron and place it on one of the blocks on the top. I think it's a shapeless recipe in that determination. Yeah, so we get a fuel can. And now we are ready to take off in our biplane. So we're going to go up to my roof, which I guess is my makeshift uh, runway here. Uh, hopefully this works. There it is. That's the biplane we just made. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get right in. Oh, uh, my family's here. So uh, if I pause the video, uh, know that I'm just going down to greet them. Uh, now, in order to fuel the plane, we press R, right? It comes up with this. Of course, my bat mine and battle gear mod just opened up. But we take the fuel and we click the fuel and we put it in there and it'll start filling up the tank. And eventually this fuel can will empty. You can put as many in there as you want in stacks of 16. Uh, and then, yeah, and then we can come back. There's obviously some cargo space. You can put some cargo space in there if you want. Yes, I'm home. I'm busy though. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Sorry, family came over, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, now uh, we can take off. And you just push W on the um, keyboard, and you move, I suppose. And if you want to go up, you press uh, sh space bar, right? And if you want to turn, you just turn like you would in uh, Minecraft, with the uh, A and D keys. And my frame rate is dropping. I don't know if you can hear the noise, it might be a little loud, I apologize. I know that it's like this repeating, like, grooming noise. And if, that, that's it, that's how you fly with the plane spot. Now if you press C, you can enter like a first person, like, controlling mode where your mouse actually controls the plane. This is a little bit harder to do, um, it doesn't really help that much, and you can still push A and D and it'll move you around, but, um, yeah. So, uh, that's it for plan Flans Planes mod, if you want to slow down, or, I think, it, yeah, if you want to slow down, you have to press, uh, oh jeez, I'm gonna crash, aren't I? Look at this, this is beautiful. Amazing. So yeah, that's Flying Plane Mod, I'm gonna attempt to land. I forgot entirely how you do that. In fact, I'm gonna... Yeah, so I'm gonna ascend. Keep in mind that this is a biplane, it cannot go that fast. Metal planes do go faster, and V4 engine is the slowest um, engine type. Now, be careful when you land, because if you do it too hard, you can break things like blocks, and um, your plane can actually break too, um, especially when you crash into certain things. And then you can just rotate it around and move. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, I suppose. This isn't really part of my... Oh, I can't get out. I can't get out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to take off again. Oh, jeez. 
Um, <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I hope you liked the intro tutorial. If you want to escape from your plane, you can either press exit or E. Me, I prefer to press E, because then it just, it's quick. It's right there. Um, so yeah, that's Flans Planes Mod, um, biplane version. Biplane, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the, that's how you get the biplane, the simple biplane. Later, we'll cover some of the more advanced recipes. I have all the materials for them, so I don't see why not. Um, maybe I'll just make a series of tutorials real quick. Um, but yeah, if you like, if you have Flans Planes Mod and you don't have any idea how to use it, then there you go. That's how you get at least the most basic plane you can get with this um, mod. So uh, that's Chris the Nightbringer. Uh, I'll bring you some more tutorials, I guess. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with the single player map yet because of the uh, news that I brought to you of last episode or the episode before. So, um, you know, I mean, I, I think I'll keep doing this, but um, it's not going to be a big priority. But making videos uh, more often will be a priority. I've been slacking lately. So um, stay tuned for more. Uh, I'll probably have more tutorials coming for you in the next few days um, on this mod because it actually works. <laughs> on my Minecraft. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Comment, rate, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.